Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with creamy ricotta pasta sauce. That's right, despite the fact this creamy pasta sauce contains no cream, it is actually creamier than cream sauces that contain cream. By the way, I sure hope you're not playing the if he says cream drinking game. But anyway, if you're wondering how that's possible, it's because we're gonna use some ricotta, plus one secret ingredient I don't wanna give away yet. But I'll give you a hint, it's calorie free. So we'll keep you in suspense for a little while, while we go ahead and get started by cooking our pasta. And of course for that, we're gonna need some nice cold fresh water that we'll bring to a boil over high heat. And as always, we're gonna generously salt that, since you want your pasta not to be bland. And it's not an accident that I'm using a strainer to stir that in, since this is not a recipe where we're gonna drain the pasta. Okay, for this, we're gonna to need to scoop that pasta out of the water and transfer it into that pan you see next to it. And that's where all the magic's gonna happen. And I mean that literally. So we'll go ahead and bring our water to a boil and then transfer our pasta in. And today what I'll be using is eight ounces of orecchetti pasta, which our Italian friends think look like little ears. And this shape is gonna work very well for this recipe because that cup shape is really gonna help hold on to the sauce. But legally, I have to tell you that any other pasta shape will work. And what we'll do once our pasta water is boiling is go ahead and transfer that in. And we'll set our timer, but we want to cook this about one minute less than the package directions. Because that pasta will cook a little more when we finish it in the sauce later. So we'll go ahead and set our timer. And this is where things get really exciting. And that's because we have to hustle and finish our sauce ingredients before the timer rings. Which is fine, because it's only going to take a couple minutes. And our sauce is going to start with about a half a cup of beautiful, fresh ricotta cheese. To which we'll add one large egg. And by the way, I said fresh ricotta cheese, because later you're gonna see some non-fresh ricotta cheese. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's continue on with some kosher salt, as well as some freshly ground black pepper. And then one optional ingredient that I would consider mandatory, and that'll be a little bit of freshly grated lemon zest, which as you know is how we add lemon flavor to something when we don't want the acidity from the juice. So we'll go ahead and grate in the zest of one lemon, and then finish up with a little shake of cayenne. And then we'll take a whisk and give this a mix until it's smooth. Or at least until it looks a little something like this. At which point it's time to add our secret ingredient. A couple ladles of our boiling pasta water. Oh yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a ladle of that and quickly whisk it in. And don't worry, it's not going to scramble the eggs. Unless you're afraid and the mixture can sense fear. But don't be scared. Just go ahead and whisk that in. And then as soon as that's been mixed in, we'll go ahead and whisk in another half ladle or so. And basically what we've done here is what they call in the business tempering the egg. Since we've not only thinned that mixture out, but we've also increased the temperature so that when we stir it into our hot pasta, there's not going to be any coagulation. And basically that's it. The base for our creamy ricotta pasta sauce is done. And we will simply set that aside until our timer rings, which mine just did. And once that happens, what we'll do is use our strainer and go ahead and transfer that pasta into the pan, letting most, but not all, the water drain off. Okay, we do want a little bit of pasta water in there. And by the way, you will want to reserve that water in case you have to add more later. But anyway, we'll transfer our pasta into our pan, at which point we can transfer our sauce mixture in, while at the same time turning our heat on medium. And then all we're going to do is stir this together over medium heat for a minute or two, or until our mixture thickens up and resembles heavy cream. And as our pasta keeps absorbing liquid and the heat tightens up the eggs in our mixture, you'll notice this sauce taking on a beautiful, luxurious consistency, which should be just thick enough to coat that pasta. And of course, if yours gets too thick, just add another splash of pasta water to the pan. And technically, at this point, your creamy ricotta pasta sauce is done and could certainly be seasoned and served as is. But as you probably saw from the intro picture, I'm gonna go ahead and add some pesto to mine and stir that in. And while that is absolutely stellar in this sauce, so are like a hundred other things, which I will try to give you a few examples of on the blog. But today I was in sort of a pesto mood, so that's what I went with. But feel free to flavor yours any way you see fit. I mean, you are after all the Chef Boy RD of whether to copy me. And then once whatever we're adding to this has been stirred in and everything's nicely heated through, we are, of course, going to taste it for seasoning. And it would not be unusual at all that we have to add another pinch of salt, which I did. And that's it. Once we're happy with how that's seasoned, we will go ahead and transfer that into a warm bowl. 
and if we wanted, we could eat it just like this. It is definitely delicious enough, and certainly beautiful enough, but I'm recommending we don't. And instead, top this by grating on a second kind of ricotta, known as ricotta salata, which is basically fresh ricotta that they salt and press and age for about three months or so, which produces this beautiful snowy white gratable ricotta that has a more intense, saltier, concentrated ricotta flavor. And for me, the absolute perfect garnish for this pasta. But of course, having said that, any and all of your favorite pasta cheeses will work here. But if you've never tried this, check it out. Speaking of which, let me go ahead and grab a spoon and check this out. And that, my friends, is one amazing creamy pasta sauce. And it's not that I don't like the traditional cream sauce method, but reducing heavy cream for this makes it a lot richer, as opposed to this, which has a remarkably similar texture, but is lower fat and not quite so decadent in filling. Not to mention because we use ricotta, the sauce has a little bit of that cheesy tanginess that we don't get with heavy cream. So I really do love this technique. And I know it is a little bit weird we didn't use any Parmigiano-Reggiano here. But like I said, this ricotta salata is magnificent in this. And even if you don't end up trying to make this sauce, at the very least I hope you buy and try some of that cheese. But anyway, that's it. What I'm calling creamy ricotta pasta sauce. Not only do I think this looks, tastes, and feels better than a traditional cream sauce, the entire recipe only takes like 10 minutes. So for those reasons and more, I really do hope you give this a try soon. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.